I think Hamilton presents some of the best value for money from any entry-level Swiss brand that you can buy today. And I'm really liking how some brands are turning back to designs that they've had in the past and reissuing them today. This is another example of that. This is the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical 38 millimeter. I think it's a really great modern reissue or update of their original, which I'm also fortunate to have in front of you today. This one was lent in by my friend Mike, a local watch fan here in Utah who's lent in some really cool watches in the past. So big shout out to Mike for, uh, for lending this one in. It's great to see the two side by side. And the first thing that you'll notice is the size difference. The original is 33 millimeters in diameter. The new one is 38 millimeters. So a little bit of a bump up, but I don't think it was super sized. It's refreshing to see 38 as opposed to like 40 or 42 millimeters. And uh, visually, I think uh, they're not drastically different and 38 will be far more popular with today's consumer market. So uh, if you look at the case, actually they, they are very, very similar, even down to the matte finish work and uh, the strong kind of beefy lugs that protrude out. Um, we've got domed crystals on both. The original is acrylic and the new one is an inner AR coated sapphire that has also uh, just got a really nice look from extreme angles with that double dome. Uh, if you look at the crown, you actually see there's the same notch where the crown meets the case on both watches. So there's some nice attention to detail. And I think Hamilton's done a very good job of paying tribute to the original, also updating it a little bit for today's market. You guys, Let me show you guys the case back here. They're a little different. Uh, Hamilton's has dressed up a little where the original has the austere uh, same matte finish case back and my favorite thing is if you look you can see right here uh, Hamilton watch company Lancaster, Pennsylvania. This was made back when Hamilton was an American company Now let me show you the reissue here on my wrist. My wrists are 7.25 inches in diameter I really like the way this sits, you know the 38 millimeter size it's still a little small for today's sports standard uh, sizes, but I, I really like it. And the most impressive thing is this is 9.7 millimeters in overall height. So it just blends really well on the wrist, especially with these lugs kind of arcing down. Uh, it just uh, conforms very well and I like the fit quite a bit. Now let's go in on a macro level and take a look at the dial on the new version. You can see a nice uh, grain or grit texture to the flat black color. We have uh, white Arabic markers that are printed, and then we have Superluminova old radium tone loom with the triangular markers on the end of the dial and also on this handset. I will say the loom is pretty poor, and that's a statement that you can make about just about every Hamilton, which is unfortunate because the, the brand as a whole offers really solid value for money. And if the loom was more potent on this watch, I'd, I'd really enjoy it that much more. Now the handset, is uh it is filled deeper so it does last quite a bit longer but those triangular markers fade very very quickly now like i said you can see it under a sapphire crystal this does have inner ar coating on the underside but it's not a very thick application and you can get some uh, pretty strong reflections from various angles especially if you're outside in sunlight now one thing that i think hamilton did a very nice job was uh, keeping this a mechanical hand winding movement uh, this is basically the ETA 2824, but just the hand wind version of it. And this has a very pleasant action from the oversized crown, which is signed. And let me show you the, the original for comparison. You can see signed with the same style of logo, Hamilton logo. But like I said, it's just got a really pleasant action to it. And it hacks. Is where you adjust the time and then you push it in. It is not a screw down crown, but it does carry 50 meters of water resistance. Now, just in closing, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts here. I think Hamilton's done a very nice job at creating a modern version of one of their most classic uh, designs. From a period when they were an American company making watches in Pennsylvania, uh, the new one 
it's tough. You know, it, it, it's got a great sapphire crystal. It's very legible, very thin, very comfortable. I really like uh, the matte finish and the hand winding ETA branded movement. So there's a lot to like here, especially for the price point. I believe they're 475 new and they sell pre-owned anywhere from 300 to 400 dollars. So with the design, the history, the different materials, the performance that you're getting, I would say that this is definitely holding true with that value proposition that Hamilton has, has made a nice name for themselves doing. And I really like the vintage element. So really cool to see the two side by side. Big shout out again to Mike for uh, lending in the original. Really awesome to see the two side by side. That is, uh, that is pretty cool. So let me know if you have any questions, reach out to me. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.